Hello, we are group 42, and we will be presenting IEQ Credit 7, Daylight. On the screen are some important definitions. We will not read through all of them. Please feel free to pause the video and look through them. Two important definitions I would like to direct your attention to are annual sunlight exposure, which is a metric that describes the potential for visual discomfort in interior work environments. Basically, it measures how bright an area will be for a certain number of hours in a year. Also, spatial daylight autonomy, a metric describing annual sufficiency of ambient daylight levels in interior environments, which basically measures area that has access to sunlight that is usable throughout the day. Increased access to daylight has positive human behavioral and health effects because it reinforces circadian rhythm. Access to sufficient daylight has been shown to increase healing times in hospitals, improve students' performance, increase productivity in the workplace, fight depression and lethargy, increase sales in retail environments. A well-designed day-lit building also uses less electric lighting energy, conserving natural resources, and reducing air pollution. This credit mainly focuses on using simulated daylight analysis and measuring of daylight to estimate daylight quality and levels. Simulation requirements use metrics and values established by daylight professionals. So it is necessary to integrate daylight concerns into design if this credit is to be achieved. And there are three compliance options. Uh, the intent of the credit is to connect building occupants with the outdoors, reinforce circadian rhythms, and reduce the use of electrical lighting by introducing daylighting into the spaces. There are two important quantities in option one. The first one is a special daylight autonomy, and the second one is the annual sunlight exposure. For a special daylighting autonomy section, demonstrate through annual computer simulation that a special daylight autonomy 350% of at least 55, 75, or 90% is achieved. For option 1 ASE part, demonstrate through annual computer simulation that annual sunlight exposure ASE 1250 of no more than 10% is achieved. Use regularly occupant floor area for the calculations. For option 2, illuminance calculation, demonstrate through computer modeling that illuminance level will be between 300 lux and 3000 lux for 9 a.m. and 3 p.m., both on a clear sky day at equinox for the floor area. Healthcare projects should use the perimeter area determined under EQ credit quality views. Option 3 involves measuring the actual luminescence levels of a building instead of using computer simulation. You must achieve an luminescence level between 300 and 3000 lux for the floor area to achieve the points as stated in Table 3. Once furniture, fixtures, and equipment are in place, measure illuminescence levels as follows. Measure at appropriate work plane height during any hour between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. Take one measurement in any regularly occupied month and take a second as indicated in the table on the right. For spaces larger than 150 square feet, take measurements on a maximum 10 foot square grid. For spaces 150 square feet or smaller, take measurements on a maximum 3 foot square grid. Have in mind that the period of analysis is at 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. on the equinox sem September 21st or March 21st adjusted for daylight saving time and longitude. The illuminance threshold for analysis is 300 lux or greater and below 3000 lux at the horizontal work plane which is 30 inches above the finished floor unless otherwise defined. When performing daylight measurements, determine whether the measurements will be taken at solar or local time. Both are acceptable, but solar time may be more appropriate because it is based on the position of the sun in the sky. IES LM83-12 provides general guidance for interior surface reflectance. If surface reflectance value are not 
available in manufacturer's information, field measurements may be performed. The model must include all permanent interior obstructions. Movable furniture and partitions may be excluded. The IES Lighting Measurements LM83-12 approved method IES Special Daylighting Autonomy and Annual Sunlight Exposure is used as a reference for daylighting calculations. On this slide is the required documentation for all three options for this credit. Feel free to pause the video and read through them. Thank you for listening through our presentation and good luck on your quiz.